the church is shut by order of the bishop. But I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Man, this motherfucker about to figure out that I'm a vampire, and he about to shove the holy cross up my ass. What's up, YouTube? My name is Super Majin, and welcome back to Vampire. Last time we left off, I gotta admit, it was a little bit of a messy session. Had to cut out some parts, A lot there was a lot of editing in the process, but we did make up for it because we, last session, if you missed it, we healed both districts, uh, the hospital and the Whitechapel district. And as you can see, it's looking a lot better, especially in Whitechapel, you know, the place where we murdered uh, this boy, Dorothy Crane. Um, it was, it's a girl, but you know, you never know. It could have been a boy when it was born. Don't, don't assume gender out here, okay? But yeah, this was the highlight of the series right here. Killing Dorothy Crane. Embracing that bitch. That's the highlight of the series. Me most memorable moment of this game for me. So, wait a minute. Oh, that's some weird shading on uh, my character's face. Anyways, uh, we healed a bunch of people. And we did a, a ton. A ton of si uh, side missions. Like 90% of them. If I can fucking find it. I can't navigate the menu for my life in this game. As you can see, all the hospital side missions are done. We got like two right here. Uh, we will do these in a short while. But first, we're starting this episode or this session on a sad note. Because we're going to be visiting our sister, dead, deceased sister, at her funeral. We're going to be attending it right now. And I got wait. Can I? I'm not tracking anything, am I? Untrack. There you go. I don't want to be distracted with anything else. Um, my sister, if you remember, is the person that we killed in the opening cutscene of the game. Unfortunately. I was out of my control. You know, Jonathan Reed just wanted to kill her off the bat. And, you know, he was, he was unconscious. He just became a vampire newborn, so I can't blame him either. But where is he? It's at the cemetery, right? Oh, we're going the back or the front way, I guess? Okay. Well, before we... Is there anything... Uh, yeah, I can't heal these two. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead. Let's go pay my sister respect. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. But you killed her, though. It's all your fault. Also, game. When did I put this here? I, I need to know, game. Because I don't remember putting that. I'm also level 17. I didn't know that. I'm pretty high up there. Are enemies here yeah they like to respawn once i leave the game but uh after i kill them i i'm pretty sure they don't come back so let me just it's a dead person over here five cents on her i'll take it i'll take it anything else around here i missed a trash can there's also some rats hold up let me okay this is the hospital rakesh is over there Okay, alright. I don't want to miss anything else. How much money do I have on me? When I Not too bad. I wish I was in the 200s, but... I have this thirst for blood. This is despicable. I gotta make sure I have the right ultimate on me. Rage? Good. That's the, uh, the one where I go zippity-zoom. Only one? Oh, two. All right. It's a late. Kill it. Okay, just attack me off the bat, I guess. Ow. You son of a bitch. I love shooting. Oh, you love shooting too, don't you? Ah. 
Grace? Man, you fat pig. That's a double joke because they're cops. Alright. Not too bad of a fight to start off. Imagine going to a funeral, right? Like on your way, and you gotta fight people. Just to get to the funeral. That's. That's messed up. And the funeral is for my own family member. This place looks like it's been looted. Have I been here before? I don't know if I have. Uh. Large box of pills. Okay. Uh, if I teleport, will I be missing anything? Uh, actually, yeah, I can avoid the, the cops entirely. Is this the way to the hospital? There's only one guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and avoid him. Fuck it, why not? Actually, what's over here? I can't open this? It looks like some, some good stuff in there, man. Where am I going, actually? Alright, before I go off track, let's just go attend the funeral. Bullets? Oh, there's people here. I'm hoping I can avoid that big dude on the bridge. Because that's what I want to do. I hate, I hate, I hate when the game does that. Fuck off, buddy. Bitch. I hate when the enemies fucking auto lock on you, man. I hate that mechanic. I still do. That guy's still guarding the bridge over there. Thank God. I don't want to fight that guy. I honestly really hate the mechanic. Only thing I would change in the fight in the fighting system, unless it's only this certain like um, brute, I guess the certain enemy. Maybe that's the case. I don't know, cause the other ones weren't really locking on. Maybe that's the only guy. All right, I guess we're heading in. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Gotta look around for some... For some good stuff. Discreetly attend Mary's funeral. Which pathway am I going? Oh, I'm... I can go anywhere, I guess. Let us go... Just straight... Now let's go to the right. Let's go this way. I kind of want to avoid fighting. Those are some rats, though. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, I think I need one more to fill it up. I have this thirst for blood. All right, we good. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. Wrong button. I 
I'm sorry for uh, hitting the map all the time. I wish this game had a mini map. Actually, I'm wondering if that lady's still here that we rescued last time. I'm just trying to look for some goodies, man. Oh, this is her. You know you can trust me. Do I have bronchitis? I should have probably made that before coming here. Crap, I do not. Damn it. Why have you not spoken to me? Alright, we'll talk to her I guess after visiting our sister, because that's what we're here for. Gotta pay respects. I'm just trying to see if I can get anything. Because if you haven't noticed, we're missing the cure for migraine and whatever hold on, I think I can check it right here. Neuro neurogia whatever that whatever, however you pronounce that we're missing migraine in that since I can't reveal myself to my mother now I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony Damn that's rough before doing that let me eat some rats and fill my blood meter This is despicable discreetly of course discreetly you wouldn't want anybody seeing you do this I have this first for blood. I'm assuming there's gonna be a cutscene. Which is gonna be sad. But I get to see who my mom is. Only two people came? I'm, I'm assuming those are my parents, but only two people came. Come on, dude. That's the only family I got? I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> oh. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. Yo, why are you stalking me? Lady Ashbury, yes, I know who what she is. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was kindness incarnate? 
Incarnate? I, I I haven't met her, so I wouldn't say that. A vampire crying over the death of a loved one. It sounds like a bad joke. No, Jonathan. She was your sister. And the pain of her death, the hunger that killed her, will stab at you for years. It's important to cry for those you love. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. So, I just noticed two things. Uh, during the cutscene, I thought that was my dad. That was with my mom, but that's just... He was just a pastor, or a father, um, in church. And second... Jesus, Jonathan, why are you breaking these fucking gravestones? Calm down. Uh, second... Actually, I observed three things. Second, I thought my sister was gonna, like, come out of the fucking grave and become a vampire like me. Which would have been nice to see, actually. Would have been fucking dope to, to see. Would have been cool. And third... Um... Do you see my bloodshot eyes? Like, look look at my face, right? Like, you can see it during the cutscenes. How does no one realize I'm not a vampire at the hospital? Like, I don't understand. Like, if you- if I saw this motherfucker in real life, I would have been like, Oh, nah, dude. You- you are sus. You're one of them. But... I digress. Oh, more rats? Uh, let me eat one more. This is despicable. Oh shit! Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I think I found the jackpot. No, 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 give me it. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This formula written on a piece of paper seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Wait, this is the same as the enigmatic formula. Does this mean I can't analyze it? I don't know why I have this. I hope this is- I hope I can analyze this. I hope that's what I need. Cause I'm, I'm missing two of the medicines that I need to heal everyone. And I really want it, man. I really want to make sure everyone's healed. Just so there's less cops, you know, to deal with. Where's the church? Oh. You want me to go there to father fucking Tobias or whatever. Actually, wait, is there a- there's a hideout nearby, right? Eee, let's see, let's see. Let's check the formula right now. Uh, do I have to enter? Oh, I left that money there last time. That sucks. 
I'm glad I came back. Anything else? I'll check downstairs. Oh, I can't analyze. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, dude. Let's fucking go. I got all the medicine recipes and I can make this. I got enough ingredients for this. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, I'm missing potassium. Oh shit, I kind of need that for the lady. Um, hold on. I don't think I can heal you yet. Because I have to talk to your wife first. But I can definitely heal you. So let's make... Oops. Okay, that's how I placed the marker on accident. Uh, let's make the Neurogia. Neurogia. Okay, Neurogia sounds better. Let's make one of those. Let's take this marker out. And let's head to the church. All right, this way it's blocked off. I guess there's nothing down there. I only have 240 XP, so sleeping is not really an option. Almost missed this as well. You know what? Let me head back and uh, let me actually recycle some of this. For fuck's sakes. Now I can make the bronchitis, right? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Hey, we're good. We're selling everything now. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh my! Alright, that was easy enough. That wasn't too bad. Now, if I remember correctly, is this the alleyway where I ran into the, uh... Where I was running away from a bunch of people? So that means Blanca's down this fucking alleyway, isn't he? I'm ready this time. I was just trying to move on last time. Where you at, Blanca? Oh, shit. And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Solomon Grundy? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Motherfucking Solomon Grundy Frankenstein looking ass. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. There's nothing this way, right? Interesting. I'm assuming he's gonna be a boss fight. That's one big dude. I'm gonna let you know that right now. That's gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh, they're fighting. That's cool. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Just passing by. You know what? Let's fight him. I don't want to. I don't want to respawn. See them, Die, burning. How dare you burn me, you cunt! I still don't know if there's a reload button. I kind of want to reload. Seems to be a lot of enemies around. Maybe because the story mission triggered it? There's way more than usual, that's for sure. Hey, Camellia, where you at? Want to say hi? 
I guess not. All right, we're going to the church. Richard, what's up? Oh, there's my baby. Hello again, miss. Anything? Any, you got anything for me? No? All right. Very well. Goodbye, then. I went the wrong way. No, I didn't. I went to go see Camilla. What are you talking about? Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Man, this motherfucker about to figure out that I'm a vampire, and he about to shove the holy cross up my ass. Uh, personal matter, kind ear, personal matter, kind, personal matter. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. There's two private options, so... Um, let's just... I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? All right, Jonathan, I'm gonna need you to not reveal everything. You got, you got me. Don't be like, yo, I'm a newborn vampire. My sister died. I killed. Don't be like that. All right, ain't no need to confess that much. Just know, I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? Okay, no, I'm not gonna pick it was an accident, because that's gonna lead to somewhere else. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I wish I could forget all this. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. Oh no! My dear Mary. Forgive me. I told me. you not to say that! You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Why the fuck did you say those words? Exact words! Why? Loading? That was weird. Is my, ba is my game about to crash? Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Now that we've taken care of the funeral, paid my sister respects, um... Should I head back to the cemetery? Okay, I'm gonna heal. Not heal. I'm sorry. The men I know the menu is annoying me too. It's not only you. Um It's so hard to navigate, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using a controller. I feel like if I used a mouse, I would have just point and click and it would have been fine. 
All right, let us. I want to heal this motherfucker, but let's go heal the one of the fuck boys that I'm gonna kill later on. I'm cheap and I'm clean. I promise. Don't. Those are not the words I want to hear right now from you. There you are. You've what? Good evening. You don't seem well. Oh, I can. Whoa. A gun out. All right. Healed you. You should be recovering. Yes. Now, let's go talk to Loretta. This elixir will give you faith again. Goody. Before we do that, I'd like to see. What do you got? What do you got? I need potassium. How much is this? 18? Uh. Can I sell you stuff? Like this ring? 16? I feel like the other guy sells it better, so I'll, I'll leave that. Good. I'd like to. This might be a waste of money, but I'm gonna buy five potassium. Just because I need it. Oh, that's one potassium, I forgot. Alright, I just wasted money. Okay, well. That's great. Good eve. I got one potassium out of it, though, I guess. Nothing. Nothing. Have you any new med? Don't care about. Wait, I can't talk to you? About your husband? Goodbye. Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Okay, let's. Let's try talking to him again. Remember you. Um, the devil? Fear be God. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me, made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You. Are our champion. Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage. Brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. Okay. I've had enough of others making decisions for me. Pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. I honestly don't think that the maker of me is some sort of doing this. blood character, blood embodiment of something out of Diablo. I, I honestly do not believe that it's a floating whatever that was. He might look like that, but I don't think he's fucking blood or made out of blood. That would be kind of cool, though. Like, the final boss fight is just... I'm fighting, like, a blood-made vampire, I guess? So many new graves. Like, his whole... He sucks so much blood out of people that he just became the blood. That'll be kind of that'll be kind of nice, like some kind of fucking bloodbender. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity, some way to remember my dear Matthew. 
Alright, so I know how to pronounce her name now. It's um, Shang Tsung. You know the guy from Mortal Kombat, the sorcerer? Yeah, this is his wife. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. You can say the same thing about COVID. Laughing about it till you get it. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. It's because I'm a doctor, that's what I do. Have you recently- From what I have heard, I skipped the dialogue on purpose. I don't want to hear anything about it. I just want this to be grayed out. You should go home now? Uh, let's keep talking to her before that. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. You're right. I believe silence has a curative effect for the pain we feel. I suppose it provides space for reflection. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say, I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Hey, maybe if you go back to Whitechapel, you can help me with this level three, mesmerized level three fucker over here that won't fucking cooperate. Just need him to read shit, but no, he just wants to be a legally blind fucking asshole. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death, and who else if not his wife who did not see it coming? I'm a physician, one of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives. You and I. Can we, like, run back that dialogue for a second? Hold on. First off, he started yelling at her, like, Why are you blaming yourself, huh? Blah, blah, blah. Like, like yelling at the fucking lady. And then, like, right after that, he was flexing how he was a doctor. What the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know who voices... I don't think it's the voice actor's fault. But... These are the wrong emotions for the wrong, like, conversation, you know? Like, 
it did not make any sense. Like, he yelled at her, and then all of a sudden he calmed down, and then he started flexing, Hey, I'm a physician. I'm the best physician in the world. What? It might have something to do with the echo effect going on, but... I don't know, man. It's The dialogue in this game is weird sometimes. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Honestly, I feel like if I didn't talk to her be like before, like all this dialogue, if I just went straight for the green one, the main one, I don't think he she would have went home, so... Good thing we did that. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now, indeed. We're heading back to the main mission to Edgar Swansea. He's actually kind of growing on me, unlike Dorothy. Um, he's actually growing on me. He's not much. Like he's still sus to me. I feel like he's gonna stab us in the back. I feel like, honest. I feel like he's our maker. To be honest, like he's he's hiding behind the shot. I feel like he's our. He's the he's the one that made us. And Lady Ashbury's behind. I feel like I'm get, I'm gonna get backstabbed at the end of the game. I don't know though. I don't know. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. Uh, can't do your stupid ass shit. What the fuck's your damn Mason? The fuck are the numbers, Mason? You know. Where am I going? Straight. You can trust me. Wait a minute. If she's Shang Tsung's wife, that means that he's technically not dead. He she's just mourning to nothing. You can't be telling me Shang Tsung, well-known sorcerer. The fuck is that noise? Oh, it's you. Well-known sorcerer Shang Tsung died by Spanish flu. What a handful of sentence right there. For blood. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. That's enough blood. That that that's enough. Is this a hideout? I don't know, but I'm going to kill your ass. I just straight murdered this motherfucker. I feel like we've been here before. This looks open. Oh yeah, this is the other hideout. Okay. We don't need uh, to go there again. Oh, I forgot I, had, I didn't fight you yet. All right. I'll put it in. What? Are you fucking kidding? This motherfucker just straight shot me point blank. And I just stood there and took it. Common trick. Come on, man. Come on, man. You could have gave me a good one. Now, should I... That's a rat. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take... Hey, give me that. I have this thirst for blood. There was another one. I can't believe I'm doing this. Is there anybody sick here? No. I was wondering that if, um... If I sleep, right? If I save the game, I guess? Like, up doing the upgrades and stuff? I don't know, maybe easy mode has it where it refills all the blood and everything? Maybe, I'm not sure, but that would- that would be fucking nice to have. I'm trying to find that shortcut where I can just teleport to my office. 
Is it back here? I hope so. Where the fuck is it, dude? It has to be back here, dude. Is it not back here? Man, I'm so confused. Honestly, I'm so con- man. This game's whack. Wait, 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 where the hell am I going? What the fuck? How did I end up over here? I guess we're taking the long route. Oh well. Trash can though. Oh, Milton, I need to talk to you. Good, e good evening. Do you have any good handle parts? I'd like wise cho No, you don't. Come on, Milton. Milton, come on, man. Useless. Oh shit. She's a regular here now, I guess. I'm assuming the two guys that's on this map, or not on the, the graph, I guess, is still not here yet. So should I sleep or should I talk to Edgar Swansea? Let's just talk to him. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. That motherfucker said I'm a leech and I'm a snake, but looks exactly like me wearing the same jacket and everything. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Are you worried about the situation or your reputation? Now is not the time to think of oneself. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Why does Harriet Jones sound familiar? Have we talked to her before? Harriet Jones. Is that the old lady? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I need to double check. Harriet, Harriet, Harriet. I think that's the old lady. Unless he said it was a nurse, then I don't know. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. 
Do you realize what that could mean for us? Well, we name drop Sean. I mean, it says I can heal him, so I'm assuming I can bring him back to good health? Or in a better mind state? I don't- I'm not sure. They will not attack. Yeah, I, they will not I'm gonna beat their ass if they try to attack. Do you really believe they would come for us here? In such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. I guess I am not going to heal him. Fuck it, I'll read it. I interrupted an argument in Edgar Swansea's office after I came back from my sister's funeral. A man was there, Jeffrey McCullum, leader of the Guard of Perwin. He, pres he presently suspects the Pembroke Hospital of vampire activities. He immediately recognized me for what I truly am, a vampire. But he was not here for me. Sean Hampton, the man I saved from William Bishop's appetite. Oh, that is not the same guy we're talking about. Oh, we're talking about the priest or whatever. Okay. That sucks. I have to kill- He was cool, man. Man, I hate killing people that don't need to be killed. I would have read the whole paragraph, but you, you, you fucking- You can pause it. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Man, I gotta go kill him, though. Okay. Well. Um... Actually, what if he's holding Newton and Oswald hostage? And then I bring them back and then I can heal them. This guy needs migraine? I need to... Get on that. Can I can I unlock this yet? Oh, I can. This is a lot of reading. There you go. It's locked, all right. This one's locked. Damn it. We have a hint for her, so let's. Good evening. Good evening. Get this out of the way. Pepper. Are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. That's deep. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. Okay. Any... Ooh, recent events. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor, but murder, how can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah, until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Goodbye, now. So, oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It has to be the old lady. Disguised as a hospital. What on earth happened here? Oh my god. You know, I'm kind of glad. I'm glad he killed this person and not anybody else. Because I don't give a fuck about that old lady. I wanted her dead too. You know what? Why do we need to kill Sean? He did the right thing. He did the right thing. I mean, he didn't even... This is a new uh, poster. He didn't even, um, 
He killed someone that was old and was gonna die anyways. He didn't kill like anybody young. He didn't kill any of the nurses. This is great. Good for Sean. But unfortunately the game wants me to put it into you, so I gotta I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh, this is her. Can I spit on her? Oh Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scowl. I wouldn't say poor woman. Also, if I'm being disrespectful, I apologize. Um, I, you know, if I hate this, if I hate a character, I hate the character, okay? Everything dies? Can we share this meat? What kind of. This is so ridiculous, I'm picking it. Would you care to partake in this meal with me? Jonathan! How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Oh, we got some new dialogue about Ascalon. Actually, can I ask her about that? The person I ran into? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel. Stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was a big fucking brute. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. What if I want to beat his ass though? I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Have you embraced this woman? Like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield. Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. But they just... I doubt that old man was asking for her to die back there in that, like three episodes ago. I, I, I doubt that. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. Alright, I didn't expect the whole dialogue. Like, I didn't expect all that conversation, but you know what? We got it out of the way. So. Fuck it. Oh, here you are! Alright, I'll be back. I want to heal your migraine. I think I have the right, um, enough supplies. Uh, let me see if I even have migraine, actually. Fuck's sakes, I hate, I hate this. No, I do not. Uh, where's migraine? Migraine, migraine, migraine. I guess if I don't have it in my inventory, it doesn't count. Let me just make this right quick. Also, if I talk to characters, do I get XP? Because I feel like I'm getting like XP like every second. I don't think I was at 1,145 before talking to Lady Ashbury. But that could just be me going crazy. 
Let me make this right quick. Still don't know how to water the plant. Migraine. Easy. Actually, your friend has cold, right? Can I make cold right now? Good. Why did I go in here? Wait, 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 wait. I saw something shining. It's just reflection. That's the, uh, the flaw of high graphics. When something's flashy and you think it's a goodie. <sighs> Fuck it, let's just talk to her. She's cleaning, but... Good evening, nurse. Good evening. Uh, anything new? Ooh. According to the report I read... Your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. That's some, uh, politics for you. You're mistaken, Nurse Brannigan. To be forbidden to enter medical school because of your gender is one thing. To break hospital rules is another. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. I thought her body was outside. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Also, I just realized, um, Lady Ashbury told us a while back, vampires are not like zombies. They don't, you, once you get bit, you don't get infected, but... I don't know if William bit him, but he still became a fucking vampire, though. So everything's debunked. Goodbye, nurse. This game is not making any sense. I'm like seeing flaws in everything right now. I am woke. Where'd you go? No! I needed to heal you, man. Yo, get the fuck back here. Oh, both of you are Hello down again, here. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe, for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. Unfortunately and fortunately, we have more dialogue now. I gotta talk to both of them now. So, uh, get ready for a ride. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. I mean, I can eat them for you. I can take care of them if you want. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir, the stench of death everywhere, your mates lying bleeding in the mud, just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. 
I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Is that a side mission? What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Ugh. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Never got bitten by a rat and I don't want to. I'm, I'll end up getting rabies. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Forgot to heal you. Hello again. Good evening. Do you need med for it, sir? Throughout history, you're working at the... Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Oh, you had the cold. So, who had the mi migraine? Oh, well, I got it mixed up. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. This guy's face... He looks like a famous actor or something. I swear I've seen his face around... in Hollywood somewhere. I don't know who this actor is, but... Or whatever they did. But he looks... He looks like he's in a mo like a different movie. A certain movie, I mean. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Bitch! Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. You know what that tells me? You are straight up pussy. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Then why don't someone come out here? Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. This dude. You know, I would say it's because you're broke. And doctors cost a lot of money, but, you know. That's another story for another time. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. You got buried. Soldier's guilt. Um... Maybe childhood. Perhaps you were trapped or locked in somewhere as a child. The horror of war could have brought this memory back to the surface. Are you joking? I grew up on a farm. I had a bloody fantastic childhood. Ah. Uh... Do you want to talk? No, I really don't. An irrational fear. Well, Doctor Tech, perhaps you were. Are you joking? Can I go back? Man, that was a one-time thing. Are you fucking serious, man? 
That was a good guess, though. Do you need... Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for... I'm certain you have your reasons, man. Hey. Yeah, take this fucking migraine medicine and shove it down your fucking Goodbye, throat. Goodbye, mister. Alright. Sean Hampton is a stubborn fuck, but... Whatever, I can't change that. Heading back to the docks, huh? Haven't been here in a while. Pretty sure there's some enemies here, aren't there? They're lively! It's on top! Yes. Ah. Over there! Ow. What the fuck is this gas? Yo, fuck off with that. Fuck you, man. This boy got some, like, Hitler mustard gas on my ass. Like, fuck off. Oh, this is the wrong way. I was wondering why these guys were, like, level 15 or 17 or whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, I guess I gotta I got fight anyways. Alright. I kind of wish there was crits. That'll be nice. Alright, bullets for my compensation. Man, that's a big dude over there. I don't want to fight that guy. Oh my god, we're not even at the docks yet. Shortcut? Maybe? Maybe. Shortcut. Nice. Uh, before... Hold on. What's down here? Nothing? There's no one here? That's kind of surprising, actually. You see how big of a space this is? This is a scary, uh, area. How is there not a single soldier over here? Oh, there you go. Uh, there's a guy up there. Let me take care of this guy. Ah, uh, you are a... Oh, no, you're a firebow, dude. Over there! Oh, you bitch! Oh my god!